All right, so it is morning time to feed the layers. I'm gonna try something this morning. We're gonna try. We're gonna try and see if they eat from my hand. So let's find out. Ow! Ow! That kind of hurts. So they eat from my hand, but they don't eat from Jordan's hand. I wonder how she'll react to this video. Sorry, Jordan. Good afternoon guys. We got all the stuff done outside and done some things this morning and obviously this stuff hasn't been done yet. That's what we're working on today. But we forgot to update you on the new chicks. So they are getting big. They're about two weeks old now. So their feathers are coming out. So we've got two different kind of colors going on here. We've got this color. But they're both the same breed. Um, they are whiting true greens, um, but some of them have beautiful feathers like this, and some of them are not as feathered out yet. And then, so this guy is Felix. He is our mystery bird that we got, but we think he's going to be a um, silver spangled Hamburg. Um, we were told that he is. Well, we, we were told by McMurray Hatchery, um, so he'll turn out really nice, or she. Either way, it's gonna be named Felix. So we're excited about that. So anyways, that's an update on our new birds. Yeah. Um, For more updates, let's take you outside. Oh yeah, we got other things. So I'm gonna do a short series uh, here about um, getting chicks and where you can get them from and what to expect and how to kind of do it on a cheaper route. Um, that's an, an upcoming series that I want to do, so um, stay tuned for that. That will be coming here shortly. Um, other updates. So we did put hoop nets on half of our garden. Um, obviously it's a work in progress, but it did keep work our plants from dying. So that's what is important because that's what we wanted. Um, we wanted to keep some of our more tender crops from dying in the frost. So we had a nice hard frost last night. Um, and these plants were kept nice and toasty. Mm -hmm. So it is sunny and now in the 60s, so it feels great outside. We're burning some wood. Um, we've got our other chickens over there working. They'll be moved today. And let's go. Show them the other birds. Okay. <laughs> Look at this bird. This is one of our bigger Freedom Rangers. Now, they still have a month to go. So, that's a good sized bird. <laughs> uh, again, one of our bigger ones, but looking good. Yeah, looking good. So getting excited. I'm gonna put it back in. So anyways, that is what's going on around here. Um, we've done a lot of stuff getting ready for spring. So well, I think- more for winter. Well, also too, we've talked about what we want to do to prep for the spring garden and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, a lot of it is winter prep and figuring out how we want to do a couple things. And then also some ideas of uh, figuring out how to do things pretty cheaply. So that way we can share it with you guys. Um, like we need another chicken coop. So 
and along with speaking cheaply, the nice thing is we do live across from a horse farm, so we have been taking advantage of the free manure. In fact, we asked uh, if we could get another load tomorrow, and we're going to put some at the base of all of the trees. Uh, so, should be good, and it allows us to help prep the garden a little bit for spring. Um, we're going to put our soil amendments and some manure on the other half of the garden that we did not plant on. So it should be good. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, um, we did not post a video about it, but we did um, get this moved. It was here and now it's over here. So we got the first turning done on that. Um, oh. I'll put a little bit of that video in this clip here. Um, but it's not breaking down as fast as I want. I think I have too much brown material in it and not enough green material in it. So uh, brown material is wood chips, um, things that have a higher, I believe it is a carbon ratio than, ni than nitrogen. Um, so they break down slower than things like the horse manure, uh, grass clippings, your food scraps. Um, you have to have a good balance of that. And if you don't have a good balance of it, then it breaks down slower um, it will break down, but the process here needs to be a little bit faster for us to use in different aspects on the homestead. And so I just have to work with that. Um, and something we did not discuss before, um, a few months ago we did end up losing one of our Rhode Island Reds. So one night um, she did not make it in the coop and we didn't see her and she was actually outside of the fence and we came in the morning and Wyatt found her and she had died. Um, and so she's actually in our compost pile. And when Josh went and turned the compost, she was almost completely gone. He didn't even recognize that it was a bird anymore. Um, so compost piles do work. This is our first compost pile. Um, so it was just kind of like a cool science experiment. <laughs> as odd as that sounds talking about a dead bird but um, it is interesting how nature works that way and so we are excited to if not next month then January or so move some of our chickens back here to make compost full-time for us um, and do something that occurs naturally but just wanted to throw that out there so we hope you guys um, enjoyed the update. Uh, like I said, we're going to do a couple of more videos that are a little more in depth about, you know, how we got our chickens, what you can expect um, as we go into the new year, talking more about chickens and just uh, how to get the most out of your chickens from what we've already learned and what we're going to learn. And yeah. so uh, if you want to learn about that, stay tuned. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn about that, make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the little bell button so that way you guys can know whenever we post a video and um we're gonna like comment share yeah uh and and we're gonna go ahead and get ready to get some stuff done for today my mom is coming in so it'll be nice to have her around and um she says she needs some puppy time puppy time who doesn't need puppy time so uh see you guys in the next video